main service, which we started the school with eight years ago, was the commercial kitchen exhaustive cleaning for restaurants. So exhaustive cleaning is something that every restaurant has to do. No exceptions. Okay. Every restaurant in the United States cleans their exhausted system. And some of them do it monthly. Some of them do it quarterly. Some of them do it twice a year. And that varies really on how much cooking they do, what type of cooking they do and all that stuff. So there's a frequency schedule that every restaurant abides by when it comes to cleaning their exhausted system. And it's called the NFPA uh, code 96, the National Fire Protection Association writes the codes that governs how often exhausted systems in restaurants need to be cleaned. But if they're not cleaned, guess what? The fire marshal will shut them down. So, um, and the insurance companies will actually not give them an insurance policy unless they abide by uh, local and national fire codes and the NFPA uh, code 96 fire codes. Um, that one is a slam dunk. You can't go wrong with that one. Um, it will be around forever. Uh, we have some unique uh, ways of marketing and going and, and, and getting the, those clients that I'm going to share with you guys. I've been doing it for 30 years. I'm a second generation government bonded contractor. And uh, I know a lot of things. I've learned a lot of marketing, a lot of um, estimating, uh, you know, uh, tricks of the trade, so to speak that will allow you to really gain market share fast. You know, if you do this on your own, um, you're going to go through a tremendous learning curve. If you do it through our course, you're going to, you're going to go in it uh, on, on 10th gear, you know, so you'll be able to um, build your business quicker and faster. Plus you have me for unlimited uh, phone support. Any questions you have on anything, whether it be marketing, estimating, uh, equipment, whatever pretty chemicals, whatever pretty much you need. We're a one-stop shop and I'm here to help you grow your business, not just train you, certify you, and that's it. Like I said, that one is your is your base, you know, because every restaurant needs it. And now the best part of this whole webinar is where I talk about the metrics, how much money you can make from just this service alone. So let's dive into it. Kitchen exhaust hood cleaning, okay? One crew should be able to go out at night and do two jobs a night. One job they're gonna start typically around 9.30 p.m., 10 p.m. when the restaurants close, and they work anywhere from three to four hours, okay? so. One crew can do two jobs a night. Now, if we charge an average, and again, this is average based on average, um, obviously it's gonna depend on where you're at in the country. It depends on what the going rates and salaries are, how you run your business, obviously, right? But if we take into consideration everything I taught you and you, we take an average, then one crew should be able to clean two jobs a night each job, let's say you charge an average of $650. Now there's gonna be jobs that are gonna be 700, 750, 800, $900, $1,200, okay? First time cleanings and things like that. Depends how big the kitchen is, how many fans they have, okay? How many filters? Is there one exhausted in the front and another one in the back? Does it have a wood burning grill that's gotta be cleaned monthly? And then the one in the front quarterly? So your average is four times a year, okay? but we're gonna look at this very conservatively. So one crew does two jobs a night. The average price per hood cleaning is $650, okay? Multiplied by five nights a week because restaurants don't want for you to clean on Friday and Saturday nights. So you're gonna be cleaning Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night, Thursday night, and then Sunday night. They have no problem with you cleaning Sunday night. So a lot of restaurants, they're open to that. And of course you have restaurants that are closed on Mondays and then you can come in and during the day and even clean on Mondays and then your crew can jump, you know, you can start 3 p.m. on Monday, finish by six, seven o'clock and then go straight into your night nighttime jobs. So we're not even counting all that stuff, that's extra. But if we count 
uh, 50 weeks out of the year because we don't, you know, 52 weeks, we don't count 52 because holidays, uh, rain days, snow days, things like that. So let's do 50 weeks out of the year. So if we multiply it, one crew, two jobs, multiplied by $650 per cleaning, multiplied by five nights a week, multiplied by 50 weeks, we get revenue of $325,000 per crew, okay? Again, that's $325,000 per crew. Now that's gross income, right? So your average hood cleaning should cost you no more than about $250, okay? And I go, in the course, we go through all the, the details of how that is and, you know, a crew leader, a, a helper, um, you know, and what you pay them, your uh, depreciation of your equipment, your material, your labor, everything, all that you add it together. And it turns out to be roughly around 60% profit margins. So if we take 60% of $325,000 per year, okay, then we get $195,000 per year as your gross profit, okay? This is per crew. So you wanna grow this business? Each crew, think of them as bringing you net profit in your pocket, $195,000 a year. So if we have two crews multiplied by 650,000 and you take the net of 60%, you got $390,000 a year. If we take three crews, it's $585,000 a year. We're already past our half a million a year profit, mark, profit, okay? We got four crews, $780,000 a year of profits. Five crews is $975,000 a year in profits. That's close to a million dollars with just five crews, okay? So it's pretty amazing, great profitability there and it's nightly. The trick is to keep that customer for life, okay? Once you get that customer, you gotta treat him like gold. You gotta respect them. You gotta be able to give him his before and after pictures. You have to go above and beyond, and that's how you're gonna grow a great business.